Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fractal Bitcoin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome to today's Bitcoin news video. I'm Chris. Let's uh, before we get into the Bitcoin news, I just want to let you know this channel's obviously mostly about Bitcoin, but it's also about your freedom and your liberty and your prosperity going forward in your life. So the show's about you. And it's Friday, so sometimes I do a Fractal Friday. Today I wanted to try out a couple new backgrounds. You see this background behind me is I've been using it's the same background I've been using for uh actually five months, right? Since I started the channel. So let me show you a few different ones. Ooh, do you like this one better? Uh, tell me in the comments, which one you like. This is all alternate number one. This is number one right here. This is number two right here. If you like number two, comment number two. And this is number three. If you like number three, uh, comment with the number three. And if you like the original, let me know that too. But yeah, let's get right into the Bitcoin chart. Right now, the price is at 67419 and that's it. We're going to zero. It Just sell everything. It's over. Uh, not really. It's We're still making this little bull flag. And you see the past three months, we've been hovering right around this area. It's kind of boring, actually, <laughs> doing a daily show where I talk about the Bitcoin price, it's kind of boring, but it's okay. We're getting ready for the next big leg up. And yeah, uh, I keep getting these Noster pop-ups. So yeah, let's continue. Uh, this is from Wrecked Capital. In the 2015-2017 cycle, Bitcoin peaked 518 days after the halving. In the 2019-2021 to cycle, Bitcoin peaked 546 days after the halving. If history repeats and the next bull market peak occurs 518 to 546 days after the halving, that would mean, sorry, I'm scrolling. And that would mean Bitcoin could peak in this cycle in mid-September or mid-October of 2025. Yeah, currently Bitcoin is accelerating in this cycle by approximately 180 days. So yeah, and here's the uh, graphic I wanted to show you. You can see the halvings are the blue lines, the vertical lines, and then we peaked 518 days after, and last cycle we peaked 546, and this cycle, well, we'll see. So, but anyway, the point is, this is the whole point of me showing you this. We could, Bitcoin could peak in this cycle in mid-September or mid-October 2025, so there's still plenty of time. Let's go. And here's an amazing chart. You know what we say, when in doubt, zoom out. This is the Bitcoin price history in log scale since 2011, when it was below a dollar. You see a trend <laughs> up and to the right. That's just what Bitcoin does. And it's actually, you might, people have talked about diminishing returns. Like, oh, in the beginning, we went up real fast and now we're sort of leveling out. Well, guess what? Most people think that we're going to go back into a more, parabolic upward turn uh, rather than flattening out. So we'll see. Could be exciting. Well, it will be exciting. It will be epic. Are you ready? Are your bags packed? All right, here's Rational Root, TikTok, next block. This is his awesome circular graphic. It shows uh, the, the this top here, the vertical is the halving. And then you see when Bitcoin comes around, it's usually... 18 months after the halving that we Bitcoin peaks and then it spends the rest of the time. The next year it goes down and it bottoms these uh, magenta dots here and then goes to the next halving and then the next all time high. This is what it's done for several cycles. This is what everyone's expecting. It's a great way to visualize it. But yeah, some breaking news today. DMM Bitcoin, which is a cryptocurrency exchange based in Japan, reported a loss of 48 billion yen, which is $305 million worth of Bitcoin due to a hack. Yeah, they got hacked. This crypto exchange got hacked. According to a blog post on their website, 4,502.9 Bitcoin were leaked from the exchange. Yeah, which means it got hacked. This is not good. We hate to see it. Yeah, we hate to see it. So the exchanges have to do better, right? You know, and hacks are very rare, by the way. 
Uh, This is some good news. The Oklahoma Senate has passed this bill that will allow, uh, it provides a sales tax exemption on electricity for Bitcoin miners performing demand response services. So yeah, if you're a miner in Oklahoma and you're performing demand response services, I don't exactly know what that means, but it might mean that when the demand is high, that the miners shut down to let all the consumers have all the energy. And then when the demand from the consumers is low, then the Bitcoin miners turn on their miners and use that electricity so it doesn't go to waste, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But yeah, here you go. Oklahoma leading the way. Here's some more news. Unchained and the University of Austin introduced pioneering Bitcoin endowment. Yeah, so they, they're putting a bunch of Bitcoin into an endowment for the university. This is apparently a first. Yeah, it's a groundbreaking partnership between Unchained and the University of Austin. The first long-term endowment fund held in Bitcoin. Yeah, well, look, I'm just reporting the adoption news. <laughs> the adoption news just keeps coming. <laughs> All right, now here the bank. Oh, speaking of adoption, this is, look at this. Here come the banks. Look at this. Goldman Sachs Digital Asset Conference. Goldman Sachs is having a digital asset conference on Thursday, June 27th, 2024, uh, at the Goldman Sachs office in London. I mean, if this, look, adoption, right? Why is Goldman Sachs, why do they care about crypto? It's a scam. It's for drug dealers. Bitcoin is uh, rat poison squared. Mm. Yeah, look, this is, yeah. Uh, If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do. And let's get into some fiat government nonsense for context because Bitcoin solves these issues. My goodness. First of all, the Supreme Court unanimously supports the dual banking system in the U.S., yeah, the Fed wants to kill it, though. The Fed doesn't respect state bank chartered chartering authorities. And guess who's going to win? Yeah. Freedom's going to win. States are going to win. Yeah, because the Supreme Court already unanimous, unanimously supports this. And it, you see here on the bottom, it says the United States maintains a dual system of banking. Banks with federal charters, called national banks, are subject primarily to federal oversight and regulation. Banks with state charters are subject to additional state oversight and regulation. So yeah, federal banks and state banks are not the same. The Fed wants to just be the only, the one and only bank that rules your life. And the Supreme Court said, uh, no. How about no, Scott? No way. You crazy? That's right. No way. Are you crazy? Here's a great one. If the government is allowed to break the law during emergencies, they'll create emergencies to break the law. This is what they do. This is literally their playbook. They create uh, an emergency, a catastrophe, and then they provide the solution, which makes them all richer and takes your money. This is what the state does. Yep. Here's a great post from Lynn Alden about Oh, God. Tax and the IRS. Let me read this. This is great. The amount of lost time and productivity due to dealing with income tax nationwide is insanely high. The number of accountants, lawyers, and auditors that work full-time on it, plus the percent of time that small business owners and individual taxpayers have to dedicate to it each year, costs an uncountable total number of lost hours per year. And just as bad, it requires a ubiquitous massive surveillance apparatus on all sorts of income to enforce itself. No taxes are enjoyable, but income taxes are really the most counterproductive and onerous ones. Taxes on properties, imports, and retail sales have so much of a lighter touch to track and collect than income taxes. Yeah, I mean, first of all, we shouldn't even have income tax. It's literally illegal. It's against the constitution. That's a fact. Uh, and, but yeah, Lynn Alden is, is correct here that it's the, it, it sucks the most time out of everyone. You, me, every business owner, everyone, everywhere, 
and there's a whole branch of government dedicated to following you and surveilling you and and bothering you. It's crazy. It's just so many hours and it it's just it's crazy. We should get rid of it already. Thank you. Oh yeah. The first peer reviewed study on who bitcoiners are. Have have you heard about this? <laughs> they did a peer reviewed study finding that bitcoiners tend to be intellectually curious and emotionally stable. Hmm. They tend to value personal growth, relationships, community over material possessions. Hmm. Bitcoiners scored significantly higher in financial literacy than the general population. <laughs> right? Think about that. Bitcoiners scored significantly higher in financial literacy than the general population. Yeah, because we look into things. We ask questions. We don't want the government. We don't just believe the government or the Fed. Yeah, this is an interesting study. There's a link to this post, but then there's also a, a link to the study itself. Yeah, the personality and motivational characteristics of Bitcoiners. I thought that was funny, but the findings are not surprising. Let's go Bitcoiners. Yeah, and here's the study. I'll link to it below. And Strike, this, this was a week ago, but Strike now has instant bank withdrawals. Yeah, U.S. customers can now transfer their funds from Strike to their bank account instantly. 24-7, 365 days a year. No more friction between Bitcoin, your bank, and your bills. Turn your Bitcoin to cash instantly anytime. So yeah, the Strike app is really very good. Uh, very good. And and look, this is this is what we need in society. We need to use Bitcoin in a way that's very quick and frictionless. This is great news. Yeah. Oh, this is, here's legendary, legendary cryptographer, Ralph Merkel on the power of Bitcoin at $500 exactly eight years ago. Yeah. Here's a quote from Ralph Merkel from eight years ago. Man, I keep getting these pop-ups from uh, primal.net. It's a new life form. It's unstoppable. So here is uh, Ralph Merkel. Sorry. Here's Ralph Merkel, and this is his quote here. Bitcoin is the first example of a new form of life. It can't be changed. It can't be corrupted. It can't even be interrupted. If nuclear war destroys half our planet, it would continue to live uncorrupted. Yeah, this was in 2016 when the Bitcoin price was 500 bucks. Yep, there you go. And here's a little message that everyone gets Bitcoin at the price they deserve. <laughs> I mean, this is true. This is true because I've, you know, I've been in, in the Bitcoin space since 2018, really, but really 2016 because I was producing, uh, I, I was the audio engineer for Laura Shin's uh, Unchained podcast for, from 2016 to 2020. But anyway... I got in when I got in and I was excited. And I, of course, you tell family members and people and nobody cares. No one responds. So look, everybody gets into Bitcoin at the price they deserve. It just, that's just a natural fact. Right? Can't deny it. Yeah. What in the redneck world is this? Yeah. This is a Corvette El Camino. <laughs> <laughs> Someone actually made this. What a legend. This is so good. All right. Now here, uh, I just want to let you know that kangaroos are just deer who went to prison. <laughs> right? Look at this guy, man. He's been lifting in prison. Insane. All right. And here, when you lied on your resume about your skills. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> yeah, when you lied on your resume about your skills, the cat is hiding from one little mouse. All right, well, this is our website, fractalbitcoin.com. Click this link on the very top, it says join our locals community, and come over here and join. It's free. Come hang out, watch. I, I post some uh, locals only videos here as well. This is our community, this is where we hang out. So that's it for today. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the channel and follow the channel if you're on Rumble and like the video. It really helps. I appreciate all your wonderful support and feedback. I really do. And, and again, let me know 
which uh, which fractal background you like. This is number one. So comment with number one if you like this one. This is number two if you like this one. And this is number three. Comment with that. Or if you like the original that I've been using for... I mean, this one is my favorite because it's it looks very 3D, right? The others don't look 3D, but anyway. All right, that's it. Have a great weekend. Go do something fun. Do a lot of fun things and enjoy it, you know? You're alive. You have there's a lot of things in life to stress about, but when the weekend comes, you chill, you relax, you be grateful and uh I was going to say buy bitcoin, but that's not financial advice. All right. See you guys. Bye.